Hello boys and girls. Today we're gonna make a ladybug. I got my inspiration from reading the story, The Very Grouchy Ladybug, written by Eric Carl. So let's get started. You're going to need some tape, glue, scissors, a marker, pipe cleaner that I've already cut in the height that I wanted for my ears, some red paper and some black paper. If you don't have red paper or black paper, feel free to use manila paper. If you use manila paper, you're going to need to color it. So to color it, you can use crayons, colored pencils, or even markers. You're also going to need some buttons and some black dots. I used a quarter to trace around to make my black dots. Let's get started. I'm going to take my bowl that you're going to need, or you can use a saucer or anything else that has a circular shape. I happen to have some bowls on hand. So I'm going to trace around my bowl. To make my circle. Then I'm going to cut it out using my scissors. And I'm going to be very careful. <clears throat> because I don't want to accidentally cut my finger or anything else. So there's my circle. Next, I'm going to carefully fold it in half so I can make a line on my paper. See the line where the paper was folded? With that, I'm going to take my marker and draw on that line from one end all the way to the other. And it will look like this. Next, I'm going to use some of my black paper and I'm going to make a half circle. That's going to be my ladybug's head. You could also say it looks like a half moon. It'll look like so. See, the line is going right here. I'm going to carefully cut that out. And it looks like this. I'm going to add some glue to the back. And turn it on the all red side and put it at the very top, at the middle of my line. Press it down to make sure it sticks. While it's turned over like that, I think I'll go ahead and put on his antenna, which are his ears. I'm gonna use tape for that because I tried glue and it did not work well. So I'm gonna take a little piece of tape for each one of his ears and just tape it down. And then I'll take down the next one. Trying to press it to make sure it doesn't come off. And it will look like so. It's beginning to look like a bug already. I'm gonna curl my ears just a little bit because I like mine turned just a little bit. Next, I want to put on some dots. So I'm gonna put eight, I like eight. So I want four on one side and four on the other side. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, and four. Four plus four makes eight. Then I'm gonna take some of my dots that I've already cut from my quarter shape 
and I'm going to place a dot on each dab of glue. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. It's really beginning to look like a bug. Next, I like for my bugs to have feet and legs. If it is an insect, that means that it has six legs. And another word for insect is anthropod. Anthropods have six legs. So I folded it several times. And then I'm gonna draw a leg and I think I want just a little bitty foot on mine too. Like so. It's hard to see the black on black, but if you look carefully, you can see it a little bit. Next, I'm gonna cut it out. I'm going to turn him on his back again and I'm going to put three on each side so I have one, two, three. This time I'm using strips of glue instead of a dot and one, two, three because three plus three equals six and then I begin to put on his legs. One, two, three on that side, and one, two, and three on this side. I'll put away the extras. When I turn it over, he looks like this. It's really beginning to look like a ladybug now, but it's missing something very important. This bug has no eyes. I have two, so I think the ladybug should have two eyes as well. So I'll use my buttons. I'm gonna turn my buttons on the smooth side so that it'll stick better with my glue. I'm gonna put two at the top, one, two dots, and then I'll place the buttons on top. Now I'm gonna draw, since they're white, I'm gonna put little bitty black dots in the middle so that it will look like he has a pupil. If you don't have buttons, it really is okay to use paper to make eyes as well. Now, I don't want those eyes to fall off when I pick it up. So I'm gonna pick up the one that I've already made and he looks like this. So have fun with your ladybug and don't forget, please get someone to read the story to you, The Very Grouchy Ladybug, written by Eric Carle. It's an excellent story. Bye-bye, have fun.